Okay, I'm gonna get you started today in live chat. Remember, everything we do, AI is very complex. We've done uh, as much as we possibly could to make it as easy as we can for you, but I always want you to remember when you're dealing with AI, keep it as simple as possible, and then you can work your way to being complex. And today, we're just gonna make it as simple as possible to get started in live chat. And I'm gonna start with you from scratch and we're gonna work all the way up to a booked appointment. We're gonna reschedule it, we're gonna cancel it. We're gonna check our current appointments. We're just gonna make a really, really simple booking bot. So I'm gonna go over to my screen here and let's go over to assistance. We won't worry about knowledge base or anything like that. Like I said, super, super simple. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, uh, video, so I'm just gonna call this one video on chat widget. All right, I'll just say sales booking for software. Super simple, right? And so this is gonna generate, I'm gonna pause it while it does that and I'll come back right when it's done so we don't waste any time. Okay, so our assistant's generated, let's take a look. Okay, so it's giving us a random persona um, and some tasks associated with uh, whatever the description we put in there. So I will preface this here. As you go through and build these things, remember keep it simple, uh, but this framework is really, really good. Anything else you would need to add to the prompt, you can use the tools for, which we'll have in later videos. Uh, but remember, keep your prompt super simple and basic. It keeps your AI on point. And I'll show you how to do the rest of the stuff, like finding and replacing verbiage, extra tools, knowledge, uh, like feeding it things about your company. I'll do all of that later. Right now, we're just going to get booking, okay? So we have our prompt in here. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to run with it just as it gives me, right? And we just need to do two things here. And we can see this correlated here by these tools, actually three. So we're going to go here to calendars, and we're going to add a calendar. So it's hard to book without a calendar. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just take this out and I'll add it back to mine later. But we're gonna sync our calendars from high level. So any active calendar not drafted uh, will be added into the account here. Perfect. And so let's go ahead and add this to the assistant. And you'll notice that when we go to try to add this to the assistant, it's gonna say test calendar to enable. This is just a sanity check between our system and your high level to make sure that everything is set up correctly. And then we're going to go ahead create a fake contact, book to it, and if that booking is confirmed, we'll delete the test contact so you never have to see it again. But it's just to make sure that later, if you need to triage something, you know that the booking is working between your calendar, between your high level and the system. So let's go ahead and test the calendar. So it's gonna grab the availability from your calendar here. We'll see that there. We'll confirm that these times are correct to the times that we have available in our calendar, and then we're going to book to confirm. So it created test contact, booked. The test contact was deleted. We're good to go. Our calendar is now verified. You can notice that by the little verified symbol up there, uh, but we're not done yet. We still need to add it here now that it's verified. Perfect, good to go. Don't worry about knowledge base right now. We're keeping it simple. Remember, mine connected to mine automatically because I already have one, but we'll deal with that later. The last thing we need to do is enable this thing to be able to go out and book appointments, right? So we got to give it the tools to do so which is gonna be, we want it to check our availability, we want it to book the appointment, we want it to reschedule appointments, we want it to cancel appointments, and we want it to check the contact's current appointments to see if they already have some with us. All right, all these other stuff, we'll leave that alone. Again, keeping it super, super simple. And then the only thing left is we need to assign an active tag. You may be wondering, what is an active tag? It's the way our system knows that you want our AI to reply to your contact because we collect all conversation information for permanent conversation logs, uh, memory for the assistant so it can take over leads and then hand them back off to you and still remember everything being said. We need to also, uh, we need to divvy out what, which contact, which assistant, and we do that with active tags. And so we'll go here. And so the reason we add an active tag is we may have multiple assistants in our sub account doing different things like support, success, calling out, um, confirming appointments, doing different things. So the active tag is a great way to keep up with which assistant is talking to which contact. Um, and it also makes it super, super easy for our system to know whether you want us to talk to that contact or not, whether you have an active tag on them or not. So let's create a new active tag. And we'll just call this one chat widget demo testing. And then we need to link that to the assistant. That's gonna be the one we just created. And then we'll just call this video on chat widget activate or something like that. And so my recommendations for this is to not use a tag you already have. 
because we'll find and replace it because we need to do things like replacing spaces and things like that. Um, so create a unique tag, just make it fun. Um, so that way, you know, it can be independent of the ones you already have and you already know when you see it on there, it's very distinct, very unique. Let's save those changes. All right, and we'll see all of that saved there. And we'll see our active tag is right there. Cool? All right. So that's really all we need to do. Of course, we can get really into this. We're gonna keep it simple. The only thing left to do is we need to tell high level, we need to tell our system when to put this tag on a contact, right? And now, depending on the use case, different things, right, is when you add tags. But the best use case here for at least a chat widget, especially live chat, is a workflow like this. And so, again, you know, we may have scenarios where we already have tags on people from a Facebook ad or something like that from that workflow that activates that. But for live chat, um, some people ask, you know, how do you turn this thing on? How do you turn this thing off? Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to tell high level and we're going to say when someone talks in live chat, so customer applied, and we're going to filter it by reply channel here, live chat. All right. And that's, you'll see under customer applied right there, just with a filter on reply channel for live chat. So that's not triggering on all my leads. You know, I, I have different ones for different use cases, uh, some for support, some for success. So I, I filter it out that way. And then all we need to do is say, when someone talks to us in live chat, we need to add our active tag. And so all that is is an add contact tag here. Add contact tag. What tag are we adding? Well, we're going to add our active tag, which is video on chat widget activate there. And that's it. This thing will be working now. That's as simple as it gets. Um, and you may be asking, how do I take that off? If it's appointment bookings, just do it on your appointment reminder workflow. That uh, just fits in the client acquisition system already. Um, and then I would keep, you know, always, uh, you know, always on, on and uh, allow, you know, allow reentry. Uh, because even if someone's replying to us on the third or fourth time on a, on a chat widget, you know, it's still a live chat. We still want the AI to take it. So that's all we need to do. We're going to go in here and let's go ahead and I have this landing page up with this throwaway chat widget I have. Let's go ahead and start the conversation here. And again, we'll get into, you know, verbiage, you know, specific tools, things like that later on. But right now we just want this thing working and voila, there we go. So we're set up. It's coming in, um, starting the conversation already. And again, this was just a generated one. I always recommend going through and adding your specific qualifying questions, but we'll get into that in another video where I'll get into the task-based framework, which will change your life. Any AI tool you use, use a task-based framework. I promise you the outputs will be more focused. They'll be much, much better. Okay, so software you're looking for, let's say booking software with AI. And so we can kind of see it in both places here. So this is what the customer sees. This is what the AI portal sees. So the message came in and it's going to, it's going to start replying here. Perfect. Let's say sure. And again, don't worry about the verbiage and everything on this one. This is just to make sure that it's working, booking, rescheduling, doing everything it should. And then we can worry about some of the stuff later, which I'll have videos on, but this is just to get her working. So when's a good time? Uh, let's say uh, midweek is always good. All right, and then we, we'll start to see this thing going in here and doing doing some things like checking our available times and all, but while that's doing that, uh, side tangent on here, if you wanna change how this thing is speaking, how it's talking, task-based framework here, which is just setting a framework of things you want it to ask, and uh, if you wanna change the persona to more of yours, uh, you can kinda just follow this cadence here, replace it with the stuff that you need, um, and I would recommend these right here, these four things, keeping it super simple there. All the other stuff that, that you would have to put in like for another platform or something like that, like verbiage, company knowledge, you know, custom tools, things like that. You know, we have settings for those. Um, so keep your prompt super simple and it'll keep your AI really focused and keep it to the, the same framework. These style guide rails response guidelines are tried, true and tested. So you can keep those the same, but change the persona, change the task-based framework, follow the cadence of the task-based framework and your life will be extremely easy and robust. So let's go here. It's looking like it's starting to converse with us about our available times. You'll see it pulled our available times here. Anytime it does something, we can always get 
metadata about exactly what it did right here. All right, perfect, September 18th. So if you notice that it's saying days that are not accurate or, or you know coming up with times that are not true, you can always go in here, check the tool, right? If you don't see a tool here, that means you didn't add the tool on there. So go in there and add the tool. Uh, and if you added the tool, but you open it up and you're not seeing any availability, either your calendar is blocked off and you have no availability or you just need to resync for whatever reason, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe a high level communication error. So just resync, it should fix all of that there. All right, so Wednesday is looking good. Um, let's say sure, it recommended a time we should be good to go. So I'm gonna say sure, and it's gonna come in here and then based off of the times that we had there, it's gonna book the appointment inside of high level. And then what I'm going to do there is I'm going to then reschedule it and cancel it just to kind of show you all this all this stuff kind of working together there. So perfect. We have a successful booking there, September 18th at 10 a.m., just as we said. You may have your name and best contact information, and we'll say Ray Mysterio. I think that's a wrestler. And uh, Ray at bestroofers.org. And then some random number. And again, if you're like, you know, why is it asking for contact, you know, after booking, you can change that task-based prompt, that chat task-based prompt, which I will have videos on, um, and I'll even have videos on the ones that I use that go through this cadence uh, very reliably. He's booked thousands and thousands of appointments and has never failed not once. I'll show off all that stuff, uh, but for right now, just remember we're testing out, making sure everything is good to go. So let's say, can we reschedule for 1 p.m. instead? All right. And so it's gonna come back in here and it's going to try to reschedule us back in here for one. We'll see it doing its thing. Again, anytime it does something, you'll see all of the metadata associated there, exactly what it did. So you see, it's smart enough to realize that if I'm going to reschedule, I need to check my available times again to make sure that that time is available and then I can reschedule. So it went rescheduled, perfect. At one, I'm gonna say, actually, never mind. I have a golf game. Please cancel. And you'll see it go in here and cancel and we'll go into high level and make sure everything's looking just as it should. All right, appointment canceled. We'll get some verbiage here and then I'll just go here in the context to show you this guest visitor. Okay. And so we see our conversation here. We see a book for 10 a.m. We see rescheduled for one. So we should only have one appointment here. We do have one appointment here. So we rescheduled for one. And then I said cancel and it canceled the appointment for us there. So it didn't book another one. It didn't delete the other one book. It, it rescheduled the right one. It did everything it was supposed to. So less than 15 minutes here. Um, it, takes, it takes about five to 10 minutes to build a really, really robust one, especially specifically for your use case. Just remember the tools are there. Remember the active tag. Remember to connect your calendar and you're good to go, keep it simple, keep it super simple. Um, AI is very, very complex. We try to do the best job we can to make everything as simple as possible to build these things for you and your clients, all right? So keep the prompt, very similar cadence, and then we'll have videos on further customizing these things for verbiage, for custom tools, making this thing do some really cool stuff, right? Um, how to you know, shorten, uh, shorten outputs, things like that, but this should get you going up and ready, booking in live chat today. Hope that's helpful.